Hello everyone, this is Devin Adams. I am a Fortinet instructor here in Tempe, Arizona for Dynamic Worldwide Training and I am doing another video. So, um, in fact, I got rid of my NSC 5 lab and I'm going to move on to something else because I've gotten a request to do a scripting demo. So, I've been teaching myself how to do all these uh, TCL commands and everything like that, so I'm kind of getting ready for my environment to do that. Anyways, uh, I realized, you know what, this is a good opportunity though to show how to set up the FortiGate to the Forti Manager not to be centrally managed but just as like a revision repository and that is known as a backup ADOM. So a backup ADOM is just that, it's where you'll have FortiGate scattered all over the place but all the revisions get stamped and then sent back to the Forti Manager and you can see an account of all the all the changes so um, I thought I'd go ahead and demo that because well I'm in the middle of doing it to get ready for my next set of videos so the goal of this video is to set up uh, ADOMs and to throw our FortiGate into a backup ADOM so it can take track of changes on the local FortiGate so and once again this would be something for like if your if your FortiGates were already being managed by somebody else also this way you know you don't have to force that central control down on them but let's just shut up and do it <laughs> alright let's do it so let's go into our computer here and uh, let's go ahead and log into the Florida manager and turn on ADOM so what are ADOMs or administration domains uh, they are administrative boundaries so it's a way to group FortiGates or like devices together and have them hold on their own <laughs> so apologize if I sound a little sick guys I'm coming down with something anyways if we go to settings by default ADOMs are turned off so everything has a root ADOM and it's only there for FortiGates but we're going to turn this on and it's going to kick everyone out I believe of the Florida manager which it did alright and that way it can reset the GUI and now you see that we have a root ADOM and a global database. So the root ADOM is where we normally join our FortiGates to. But now we're going to go to our system settings and we're going to create a new ADOM. So go to all ADOMs. We're going to say create new. And this one's just going to be backup ADOM. And we don't need 40 AP. And we're going to say backup. Now notice the second that I did backup, everything else disappeared because well that's just it it's only going to be backing up revisions that are done on the FortiGate so we hit OK alright there we go now we have to go to the FortiGate and point it to the Forti Manager. so let's do that so the FortiGate is at 10 10 10 254 log in with our super secret credentials alright And then we go to the security fabric now in 6.0. That's kind of new. All right, we go to settings. Here we go. Central manage, forward manager, see the mode. We're going to say backup. All right. And it's going to be 10, 10, 10, 2, 5, 0. We hit apply. All right. It found the Forti Manager and it said awaiting approval. So before we wait for the approval, it kicked us out. Um, I was going to double check to see if I even have the Forti Guard or Forti Manager uh, access on that interface. I'm going to have to double check that. But let's let's take a look here. See how we have one unregistered device? All right, but now when we join this and we add it, we are going to add it to the backup ADOM. Okay? And I'll do password here. And now it's adding that device. Okay, there we go.
Now the device disappeared and that's because when you first request to be joined to the Florida Manager, it always goes unregistered to the root. But now I'm going to go from the root to our backup and you can see the little one there. And there it is. There's a local Florida gate. The tunnel is up. Okay. If we dive down here, we can look at the dashboard, see what's happening. But if you notice, I mean, there's no, there's no edit buttons. There's nothing we can do to, to, to change anything. We can only see, we can only observe. Okay. So, uh, see the revision history, right? Pretty cool, huh? So let's go ahead and make a change on the FortiGate and see how it is affected. So let's go to the FortiGate. Let's log in. So the first thing you're going to notice is that it does not say it's being managed by the Forti Manager. It just says configuration backup mode. That's it. So if someone comes along now and does something like, uh, I don't know, make a change by going to system and you know what before I jump there if you're gonna talk to the Forta manager make sure on your interface you have the FMG the Forta Man manager access enabled and that's what caught me off guard I didn't realize it was gonna kick me out right away um, and I do so that's okay but um, let's go make a change and see what happens so but you're gonna you're gonna notice it's saying you know this is not being centrally managed. It just feels like we're administering to our FortiGates like normal. So uh, let's do something silly here. What's something silly that we can do? Silly. I don't know if silly is the word. I'm going to change its uh, color. Why not? From red. I mean from green to red. All right, here we go. So that was essentially a change, all right? So um, if we go back to the Forti Manager and we go ahead and we uh, see how we can retrieve the configuration if we wanted to, but if we just waited here, it would make a timestamp. I think it's every five seconds or so, it's gonna automatically auto-update. Um, obviously, you have to refresh the web page. So. All right, and as you can see, there's everything that got pulled. But if we do a revision diff and we go back a previous version, and we show only the difference, all right. Well, there you go. So I hadn't updated yet with the uh, <laughs> with the red. But it actually brought in the configuration, made a timestamp before it even set it to the Florida Manager. So that was kind of cool. But I promise you, after a certain amount of time, I thought it was every five seconds or so, it will, it will notice that change. Hmm, I wonder how long it would take. You know what, I'm going to hit pause, come back in a few minutes, see if it doesn't auto-update. All right, guys, I got I got impatient, <laughs> so uh, you can do a retrieve config, and once I did, of course, both of these appeared, so I <clears throat> should have just waited a little bit longer, but in, in theory, there's a there's a certain timestamp that it goes out there and, and makes sure that there's differentials and, and then pulls up, and that's where the auto-update comes from um, if there are changes. Now, um, I'm going to have to look that up for sure because that's why I, I try things out is so I could see them actually being done in action. Um, but I did do a retrieve config, and what that will do is actually reach out to the FortiGate and, and pull the differences. So, um, and all I did that was different here was change it to red once again. And also I logged out, and you'll see here that it actually made a stamp for when I logged out as an admin. It did an automatic backup. So there we go. And there's the, the retrieve, but if we come over here, all right, and we go to show us our, our differences, and let's do show only. There's my, my theme turning to red. So, and as you can see over here, there, there isn't one. So, uh, not a big deal. 
right? Not a big deal. Uh, but what's also neat though is even though this is in backup mode, I promise you that you can run scripts on it. So uh, that's one way that you can make changes down to a backup only for the gates and that's what my next series of videos are going to be. So guys, I'm going to stop it there. That was kind of a, a disaster. I'm recording this way too late. Anyways, but uh, I just wanted to show you that there's another option. If you don't want to centrally manage your FortiGates, but you have a Forti Manager, you can add them to a backup ADOM. And the backup ADOM essentially becomes a repository of your changes and also your account managements. And we're going to see in some later videos coming up, probably next week, um, scripting and how we can, even though they're in backup mode, push down scripts. Also, take a look at those differential files and make scripts out of those, and it's uh, kind of neat. So, anyways, I hope someone found that helpful, and uh, yeah, until next time, guys, take care.